It's been a couple months now, and I can say that I've been really been enjoying the DJI wireless microphone. Now, if you're not familiar with the DJI microphone system, it consists of a transmitter and a receiver and that can be plugged into your camera and recorder. But in this video, I want to go beyond the basics and tell you why the DJI microphone is better than other wireless microphones that I used before. So here is the pouch that comes in. I actually bought the dual microphone, so I actually have two transmitters and one receiver. So this is the charge up case of pouch. And it also comes with a auxiliary cord for one. And it also come with some dead cats, come with two, since you have two, two transmitters. What the dead cat does, it basically reduce the wind noise. Let's take a look at what makes the DJI mic stands out from its competition. In my opinion, there are three key factors that contribute to its superiority. The user friendliness, the dependability, and the battery longevity. First of all, the DJI mic is an all-in-one system, which means that everything you need is contained in one case. When you open it up, you'll see that you have two microphones, which are your transmitters and a receiver. This is one of my favorite features about this DJI wireless mic is that as soon as you open the case, the, they automatically pair. So you don't have to worry about pairing them manually. Because of the DJI mic is wireless, you can attach the microphone transmitter to any person and carry it with them wherever they go. What you do with the receiver is simple. You just plug it into your camera or your recorder and it's just that simple. It's also compatible with a wide range of cameras and other audio equipment, making it a valuable addition to any content creator's toolkit. When I first unboxed the DJI wireless mic, I was blown away how small the system was. It was so, <laughs> I didn't expect it to be this small, but I knew it was small, but I didn't expect it to be this small. It is very tiny. And like me, I carry around a sound bag that's just dedicated for sound. From the size of this, it's literally 10 times bigger than this small si system here. It's 10 times bigger. It's probably sit right here on this table about this big. And having this makes it so much easier to travel with. And it's so compact and easy to use than my Mix Pre or my sound bag. It's so much easier to use because I can just simply get my receiver, plug it into my camera, get the transmitter and just simply have it turned on, make sure it's linked up and give it to my talent to mic themselves up or if I mic them up. It's that simple and it's a lifesaver. When I shoot on weddings, it takes me least probably a couple minutes, maybe probably about five to 10 minutes just to get my sound bag to work properly. And you never know, even though I set it up and took the time to set it up, something can still go wrong, terribly wrong, with one of the cores or anything in, my, in the sound bag, but that's part of audio. But having this is really reliable because it's just simple. There's no really other wires. It's all wireless. I can go here and boom, I'm already shooting some audio. I'm ready to shoot some audio, catch it audio, do my YouTube stuff or do the weddings or if I need a quick sample from a commercial shoot from a client for the talent, I have this where I don't have to take five, 15 minutes just to set up my camera and my uh, sound bag. So very simple and so reliable. In terms of the controls of the DJI wireless microphone, it has a simple on and off switch and a mute button, as well as a low cut filter to reduce any unwanted low frequency noises. And that is key when you're filming on set, having be able to dial down your frequency or your volume from your transmitter or from your camera or whatever, or being able to have that freedom to lower the receiver on such a small system is a very vital thing that I needed when I picked this up and it definitely delivered on that part. It also has a negative 10 dB pad switch, which allows you to reduce the microphone sensitivity when recording loud sources. And I have been in situation where it was loud, very loud, but the DJI mic, I didn't have a problem with it because you can actually lower it from the receiver. I didn't have to go to the microphone and turn it down. I actually can turn it down from right here. It's very simple, very simple. 
Now, let's talk about the microphone transmitter itself. As you can see, it's very, very small and it's easy to clip onto your shirt or your pocket. And it has a built-in microphone that you can talk directly into. However, if you want to, you can actually plug in something called a lav microphone, which I do myself into its 3.5 millimeter jack. I actually use the Sure Lav microphones and it's got great quality. And that microphone is about 70 to 80 bucks. I'm gonna actually have that in the link of the description, just in case you don't wanna have a square on your shirt or anywhere on your neck or whatnot, you can actually get a lav. You can put this in your pocket. I definitely recommend the Sure Lavalier microphones. It, it sounds very nice. I'm gonna actually give you a test just to let you hear the audio from the DJI microphone and from the lav microphone so you can get a good idea of whether you wanna buy a lav or not. But either way, I think both are great. This is the DJI wireless microphone with the Sure Lavalier. This is what I use for most of my shoots, whether it's weddings or commercials. Very high quality mic. I chose this one over a couple others. Reason why I chose Sheriff because I worked with their microphones in the past. And so I, I when I seen they had a lavalier for this type of work, I, I just had to go with it. So, and this is the test. This is the test for the DJI wireless mic with the Sure lavalier. So we're testing the DJI wireless microphone. And so I'm gonna do, probably just walk a couple clicks down this field. It's a pretty big field, it's a soccer field. So it's gonna be a couple hundred yards and I'm gonna just test the, the range of it. You know, I heard it was very good. We're gonna do this one step at a time. Big step. All right, I took about 15 steps. Uh, that's probably about, I don't know, probably like a little bit of under 40 yards. So yeah, I, I'm gonna keep going though. I'm gonna get my back turned. All right, that's 30 steps in total. So that's that's a good, uh, I don't know, about, about 80 yards, maybe. I don't know, that's, I wanna say 80 yards, but that's a good, maybe, I don't know, like 70, 60 maybe. But it's pretty it's pretty far away. I'm pretty far away from the camera right now. And yeah. And now I'm I i have no idea how far I am right now. But we just we just gonna just keep going and see until it breaks up. But um another thing too, I can tell you this. Only time when the microphone will cut off is when their back is turned. Sometimes when you fall away. I don't know why I don't pick up as good when your back is turned like that. As soon as you turn around and have the microphone got a clear clear line drive to the camera, it picks up still. But as soon as you turn around, it has your... So the lens that I got on the FX30 is the Tamron 28 to 200. So, and I got it always zoomed in to 200. So you can, you can about see how far I am, but I'm not sure if I got my body cut off or not, but you can see it completely zoomed in right now. I already touched bases on this, but the DJI mic also comes with a clip and a magnet that gives you a bunch of mounting options. The ease of use of this mounting system really saved me one time. And see, actually the magnet is on the back. And so like any metal, so I could use that as a backup practically a backup yeah you can really practically put it anywhere as long as it's just magnet so like even there it's just it's on there it's backup it's like it's like the microphone has a earpiece in that's crazy. If, i want to say during one of our weddings the bride had requested to mic up three different people during the ceremony so i had my mix pre already plugged into their music board or their sound board but luckily I had the DJI mic system. I clipped it onto two other talents because I only have two and the audio came out perfect. And it really was a lifesaver because I did want to make sure if my mix pre, something happened to my mix pre, I can have backup audio and the DJI definitely saved me on that. But the DJI mic isn't just easy to use. It's also reliable. There are a few key reliable features built in that makes it stand out. For example, there is a internal recording into the microphone itself. So if your receiver fails, you can still have backup recording. And 
Simple as that, it has the button on the side. It got REC, you can see it on the side. You tap that button, and if you have it on, it will vibrate to let you know that it's recording. And you should see the red light appear at the top. You have the green to make sure it's on, you have the red and let you know that it's recording. And if you tap it again, it's gonna beep twice. So if you, I don't know if you can hear this, that's what it sounds like when it's recording. And when you stop recording, it gives you the two buzzes, let you know that you're not recording. And I made sure I did it at the wedding just to make sure I had all the audio backed up. And once I got into the edit room, all of it was there and I had my audio. So I record all the audio, right? So let's talk about the battery life. From my personal experience, I used both microphones for about five to six hours and I still had a good amount of battery life, which I thought was very impressive. The whole, I used it from the whole ceremony all the way up till the end of reception, but I switched up and used only one towards the end of the day from after the ceremony to film some dumb behind the scenes of me. And I captured that and at the end of the, all that, recording for about five to six hours, maybe it could have been seven. It still had a good amount of battery life for what it does. That is very, very impressive. And compared to one of my older microphones, I used to have one of the first road microphones, the battery life sucked. When I say the battery life sucked, compared to this, this is a lifesaver. Overall, the DJI mic is an excellent wireless microphone system that's easy to use, reliable, and has a long lasting battery life. If you're in the market for a wireless microphone, I highly recommend giving the DJI mic a try. Well, I won't say highly recommend it. I will say give it a try because that's how good this system is. It's so simple, small. You can't, you can't overlook the simplicity of this system. It's very simple. It actually give you uh, extra adapters for whether if you want to use your phone or they give you a USB-C adapter. You can use, like I said, you can use it for your phone for a little daily life. I actually use it for some of my TikToks. I don't even plug in my camera. I use my phone, plug the receiver into my phone and it's working. So I really record my little audio for some of my TikToks in seconds because it's that easy and that simple. And you can also turn the volume ups and down to make sure you're not too high. That's something I love about it. And if you want me to go in more detail about the actual settings, put it in the comment down below. Or if it's something that you want to hear me talk about, put it in the comment. I want to hear from you guys and you know see what's your thoughts about this DJI wireless microphone. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay up to date on future content. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos just like this. Peace.